welcome back to your favorite podcast, Full Coverage. Full Coverage. I'm Manny Mue. I'm Laura Lee. And we are two best friends out here living, laughing, and loving. That's right. And lunching. That's right. We just ate and it was just fine. It was the point. What was the food called again? I actually had food. It was by Kava. Kava. And I had I like food it. in my tooth the entire last episode. So if mm. you see that, don't comment anything. I, but I, <laughs> I swear to you, I did not see any food in your tooth. But you're you on, see this side. It was on the right. See, I, <laughs> it was on the right side of my mouth. A big black thing in my tooth. Or I just ate. A hunk? A hunk. Not a hunk. I love when Laura says hunk. hunk. It's like my favorite thing. That's one of Laura's words is hunk. Ugh, made me nauseous. So you guys, today's episode, we thought it'd be really fun to talk about our most recent brand trip experience. We have a couple of things that we wanted to hit on mm-hmm. that happened during the trip that were like some doozies, but also some great things we too. We wanted to do some trip investigation. Yeah, we wanted, we wanted to tell you guys the real tea because we've literally done a brand uh, trip episode. Like we literally have done we an episode did. dedicated to them talking about them, what they are all about. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to talk about what happened on this one. Yes. So Ula Henriksen skincare brand. Wait, peek it first. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Don't you run you're away from that. Right. Don't you run. Wait, I want to start with my pit. Oh, first, fuck yeah. Because I officially have a good pit. <laughs> so when me and Manny get to the airport, we have a nine and a half hour flight to London mm. and then a two and a half hour flight to Ibiza from London. So we have a full day of travel ahead of us. So we were getting a bunch of snacks and stuff because you really never know what the plain food's going to be. You, you just, never know. You just want to just make sure. Do you remember in the middle of the night what else? Like, Manny? Oh, God. That's, oh, one of the, that's, for, that's for this <laughs> okay. podcast. Okay. That is, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk we're about We're definitely going to have to talk about that. Yeah. So <laughs> we called room service three times. Oh yeah, we were not well. That we were, we well. were not. There were parts we like, were not listen, okay. European travel is always challenging, it's and I a think moment. anytime that you travel to a different culture, different country, you're going to be challenged because it's not not home. Not what you're used. It's to. It's not what you're used yeah. to. So you gotta. Yeah. Okay. So. Going there, I'm like, well, this will be my last Dr. Pepper in like four or five days. Like, I know that hard and fast. There's just never, never a Dr. Had Pepper. That. Not, not Where we go? outside of the borders. Actually, sometimes in Mexico, I can get one, oh, but it's sure. rare. It's uh, yeah, rare. That, it can happen in Cabo and stuff. But get yeah. It. yeah. Every now and again, a place will have it on get really yeah. excited. Anyways, so I was like, Manny. I was like, I didn't buy one at the snack store. And we were walking past the place. I was like, oh, there's like pepper. So I stopped. He's mm-hmm. like, let's stop and get one. So at the airport, I was like, oh, let me buy one. So we're at the airport at LAX. And I buy one in my bag. And then um, when the plane takes off, they're serving us dinner. Mm-hmm. And they're like, would you like anything to drink? I was like, no, I'd like a cup of ice. You're please. like, I, you see this right here? This Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Do you see this? That's this Dr. Pepper. Liquid gold. Dr. I was Pee-pee. like, I got my own drink. I just need a cup of ice. No Prefer- dinner, just ice. Preferably more than one ice cube. I mean, I'm not trying to get crazy here. No, for sure. But in Europe, they they've don't. Been giving you, they're like, stingy two with the ice. <laughs> they're stingy with the ice. Like, they, two what cubes. is it about I the d- ice? I need extra ice. They don't like their drinks as cold? Nope. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. At least in Ibiza, London, and Paris, I know for a fact they don't like their drinks cold. I can only confirm that. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, let me get a cup of ice. So she brings me a cup of ice. And I fill it to the top with my Dr. Pepper. And I'm like, ah, oh, uh, I'm going to sift on this. I'm going to watch Kill Bill. And I'm going to take this nine-hour flight. Uh, Let's go. Nap. As soon as I pour it, I go to close my cabin thing and knock the entire thing off on top of me. And we're like an hour into a nine-hour uh-huh. and a half flight. Uh-huh. I'm covered in sticky. I was in wearing, syrup. In syrup. Covered in the syrup. My black leggings were covered in it. So they were sticking to me. And it was all over my Prada bag. Poor me. Oh, oh first oh, world problems. Prada bag. It was all over my seat where I was going to be sitting for the next nine hours. And I remember being like, this fuck. Like, I was so mad at myself. Because like, you wanted one, to hate yourself. The flight attendants don't come by that often. So I know like another cup of ice is going to be kind of out of the question here. (laughs) So I know like that's Unless you do the button that's like, please save me. And I won't do that. Yeah. One, because I couldn't find it. (laughs) I looked for a really long time, but I could not find the flight attendant. That is the only reason, to be honest. The only reason I didn't ask is because I could not find that button. Um, And I was like, well, there's ice cubes and Dr. Pepper all over me. So the best thing I know to do is to get some of my sandy wipes and try to get the sticky off my legs. 100%. 
So then I pull out my Sani wipes from 2018 and they're mm-hmm. dried out completely, <laughs> like dust when I opened the packet. No. I'm like, Jesus Christ. So then I went ahead and pulled them out and I was like, well, I have a little water in mm-hmm. my water bottle I brought. I can reactivate mm-hmm. them. So I started pouring water on the Sani wipes and was just scrubbing my legs in the sea. And you were Bill Nye. You were that, mixing things. That was it for me. That was it. And then whenever we were getting close to landing, she's like, do you want breakfast? And I looked at her and I was like, no, I do not want breakfast. What I want is a cup of ice. And she literally laughed at me. Not in like a mean, rude way. Uh-huh. She was just like, what the fuck? is wrong with this bitch? Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with this bitch? That's what she was giving me. Totally. She knew a lot of things were wrong with me. But she's like, oh, she's this poor girl. Yeah. She's been through some she, things. She knew. Yeah. Um. So I then had my Dr. Pepper, but whenever she brought it to me, I only had one ice cube in it, that, which is fine. I knew I was going to be experiencing that the whole trip. Mm-hmm. So I was pouring like one sip of Dr. Pepper because I was like, if I spill this again, at least it won't be a full ass glass. Yes. So and it you worked out. It I sipped every, it one by to the one. Cube, and then I would pour a little bit more because I was like, this is it, Dr. Pepper. This is it, me. We're splitting ways. We're splitting ways. We're days. I ain't gonna see you for four to five days. I ain't gonna see you again. Four to five business days. Four to five business days, and that was that. That was that. I can't believe you spilled it all over yourself, dude. God, that oh. is trauma. Like spilling soda, the sticky ass soda on you. That is trauma. And it was like all over my seat too. And you know, I had to lay and sleep oh, there. Yeah, sure so do. what I did is they give you a mat to put down that yes. you never. I never use. I never it. do it either. Well, I I folded it up and laid it over the Dr Pepper so my legs wouldn't be soaked the entire time. Although they were already soaked, but sticky. you know, sticky, a sticky mess. Ain't nothing less feeling on yourself. That sucks. You it that. sucks. But we're here now and I got past it. What's yours? Give me something. I'm trying to think of my pit for the trip. Is it the waitress? Think. I mean, that's I not like, like a pit, but that's like a hilarious story. I feel like it's a good story. I love it. And I feel like maybe I'll use it as my pit. Let's do for, it. You know what my actual pit was? A low key was waking up this morning at six in the morning <gasps> for my movers to come to my house. And then he was like, do you know how much I've done today? And it's 11 o'clock. I was like, that is me every day. Waking up early. So I don't like wake up early. I wake up at like around like He's nine. a night owl though. I'm a night owl. So like I will wake up at like nine, nine thirty, ten. So today I had to wake up at 6.30 because the movers are going to be there at 7 to get like all of our stuff. I know when your eyes cracked open. By the open. time 11 o'clock hit and the amount of things that we had done in the day. And I was like, it's not even 11. What the fuck's going on? I feel like I, and a part of me was like, oh my God, I feel so accomplished. I got so much done. It's only 11. It's already 11 o'clock and like I got so much stuff done. But then I also, also I was like literally exhausted. Yeah. And I'm like, what's going on? Because I'm also yeah. still a little jet lagged from the trip. Yeah. Like I've, we're like, what, four days past the trip now? Five days past the trip? Yeah. And I still, like, I didn't go to bed till four o'clock last night. Dang. I took a power nap the other day. Yeah. But I think that's that that's what did me dirty. Yeah. Because you can't the, just nap yeah, when you're jet lagged. Because that'll be can't. like a full slumber. You have to set yourself straight. Yes. And there's nothing um, straight about me. Um, Not a thing. No. Not a thing. So that is it. I'm excited though, because like the, the movers, like, they had to come, obviously, because I'm literally moving. So mm-hmm. I'm really excited about it. So it's like a peak turned pit. Pit turned the peak. The 6.30 part sucks. I mean, I get up early because I, I can't sleep in. And mm-hmm. I can't sleep in because I go to bed around 11 or 12. So, like, like I normally person. wake up. Yeah. And, like, but that's why, like, at 11 every night, I'm, like, or, like, falling asleep now, like, in the podcast. Because I like to wake up early and like knock everything out. Yeah, and get it all done. Immediately, uh-huh. like immediately. And then, so you get yeah. your evenings to yourself. Yes, to, exactly. To watch, House to of watch a TV show or like, I don't know, I can be on my computer, like yes. doing more relaxing on work phone, on my phone. TikTok, you know. scrolling. I can I could not agree more. So I'm just not an early bird. Like I've never been. I'm definitely more of a night owl. So I just like that more. I like, I'm yeah. more, like tonight, like I know me right now, like I'm tired right now because I've just been up for so long, but I know me when I get home, no, maybe. I'm going to want to like no. unpack some of my boxes. <gasps> like I just know me so well. You're going to want to get in that there. I'm going to be like, let me take off some of my clothes. Yeah. And like put them in the Why don't you find closet. an outfit for tomorrow? See, event. that's what I have to do. Like mm-hmm. I need to find an outfit already. So I'm like, might as well like unpack some stuff. Yeah. Because I'm probably going to be a little bit more awake. Right. You know, yeah. when, the, when the time comes, it's like, why is it that when you're out of your house, I'm like exhausted as fuck. I'm so tired. And then you get but home. as soon as I get home and you're it's like, 11 o'clock and I'm like, what's going on? That's me. What's happening? I'm like, let me clean something. What needs to be cleaned in this what, house? What needs to be organized? Should what needs I to be arranged? vacuum the entire house? 
when I get at home. At 11 o'clock at night. I think should I should. Should I wake up Tyler just <laughs> to vacuum? I should. I should. I should. I should do that. That's me. Like I, I always just stay up You later. do. You're such Naturally. a night owl. But I'm also like a show binger. And that's when I watch shows is at nighttime. So I like I need to watch my shows. The only time you can watch shows. I have a hair on my lip. I'm sorry. It's the only time Literally, you can watch shows. It's the only time I can watch it. It's so You're going to get it. You're going to get it. Maybe I feel it. Like <laughs> It's a little hair it's or like fuzz. The, it's like a whisper fuzz. It's from this blanket they had on you that you didn't need to hide I just you. got it and it is a black cat hair. It belongs How did it get to there? Lucifer. How did it get there when this is the second episode of the day? <laughs> I and don't know. you have a black cat you hair. Know, I in guarantee your mouth. you he slept in my t shirt drawer and I probably put this t shirt on and He's like, probably piss all over that shirt. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You probably sound like cat. Piss I have a right urinating now. cat and we took him to the vet. So please don't start with. <laughs> he's sick. Everybody's like, he's sick. Maybe, no, I'm he's like, just. According to the vet, he's, he's not. He's trying it. He's trying he it. He tries it's your more patience. more so a triary. Um, oh, that's honestly could be your peak or your pit every single week. Golly. Him pissing on your bed or on, on you. On everything I own. Mm -hmm. And people are like, get rid of them. And I'm like, I can't just like get rid of my animal. He's and it's my animal. Yeah. And it's also like a house cat. Like yeah. it's not like a fucking coyote. Yeah. Like what do you think is going <laughs> to happen, dude? Like you just let it loose. Like cats will figure it out. But like what the fuck? He's also, just let it he's go. He's also missing a leg. So I'm pretty sure his chances of figuring slim. out are slim. They are slim. They're very slim. So you're going to keep them for now. Yep. Oh, I'll keep crazy. him till the day he ruins my life. Which Absolutely, is well, every he, day, da daily. He it's, does that daily. It's daily. <laughs> oh, so, what is going to be your peak of the week? Oh, though? yes. Because now we're into peak because we just gave our pits. <laughs> I had one. <laughs> the way you stared into his face like this, <laughs> just into abyss, an literal abyss. Listen, I have. I can do one if you don't have it you yet. Go while you on. Think. Are you, you sure? Go forward. I'm sure. Okay. Well, think of yours while I'm talking in my mind. I probably I won't. I'll probably God. just engage in your no, conversation you and your not have one beak. thought. <laughs> it's literally just air <laughs> through your ear. Um, so I would say my peak, I just think it's funny. So I started a new Instagram account. <gasps> a second Finsta? I started a Finsta. A third but Finsta? But it's not even like that it's a Finsta because it's not private. It's, it's more just, just like, like a hoe account. I don't know a hoe it's account. It's a hoe account. Oh my God. <laughs> So I created a non makeup Instagram. I love that. I think, I think you account. should have done this a long time. I do too, but it was time because the thing is on these dating apps when guys are like, what's your Instagram? <gasps> I cannot Smart. for the life of me keep giving out my Manny Amy Way Instagram. Smart. And I don't. I don't think I've ever given away my Manny Amy Way Instagram to like someone I'm talking to. Yeah. Like on a dating app because like, I just don't like that. I don't want them to see this like Manny Amy Way online, 4 million followers, like kind of facade. I just want them to see me for me and talk to me for me. And that will come, of course, like I'll talk to him about it and like that's going to be long in the journey. But I don't want that to be the, one of the first impressions. Yeah. Like I want to be able to DM you and talk to you and not that be like the blaring thing like, damn, why do you have 4 million followers? Like, right. Why do you have a blue check mark? Like what is this? Like, And then just like deep dive on me like so immediately. I just mm -hmm. I'm not ready for that. Mm -hmm. I need like a slow. I need to, to ease in. Mm -hmm. Play with me a little bit. Play with my hole a little bit. Don't be <laughs> sticking it in. Okay. <laughs> Play with me a little bit, like bro. Like I need, I need a little foreplay. Give I don't it a want it to time. be. Give, give it a little some time. time. Yeah. Like it's too much. Like it's too much, too quickly. So that's kind of why I created it. So I wanted to be able to have an account that I can also like post photos if I want that I'm not glam. Like mm -hmm. literally. And I also feel like there's like no pressure to it because that's I don't like have a you ton ninety of percent either. of the time. Exactly. Yeah. Like that's me. Literally ninety percent of the time. Like I'm glam for work and for events, and that's what I do. But I'm not glam more. Yeah. So I'm yeah. like, why can't I post photos of that or just like be more me on some account? Right. Yeah. So I call it Manny Moon. I love that. Manny Moon with little underscore. Manny Moon. Is my new little IG what handle. What happens that's if just everybody like, goes over and follows? Well, that I don't mind because I'm not glam. So regardless, oh, it's still not what like, I I'm not see. verified on that account. I'm not going to get it verified. I'm not, I, I can just have followers on that account, but it's not. It makes sense. You know what I mean? Like it makes sense. Cause yeah. it's just like, oh, like what well, I. Just this dude has followers on the account, okay? Yeah. Like, it doesn't mean that I'm, like, Manny MUA and all this, a.k.a. I'm still living my hand in Montana fantasy in my mind. I, I have a um, second account that I don't use, but I have it because it is my 
username for like everything else, like Twitter, YouTube, yep. everything. And I didn't want some, it's Laura eighty eight Lee, mm-hmm. and I didn't want someone else to take it and pretend to be me because for a long time people thought that was my Instagram because it would make sense technically because like yeah. my username is Laura eighty eight Lee, like on every app, even TikTok. Mm-hmm. The only place it's Laura Laura Lee is Instagram, so Got it would make it. sense for them to think that. And so I was, and you couldn't switch it over to La- to Laura eighty eight Lee. I could, but like, it's, would you lose every like, I feel like I don't even know if I would, but I feel like Laura Laura Lee is like infamous in its own way now. Like it's like yours. You yeah, it. it's yeah. like mine. Yeah. Like Laura Laura Lee is mine. So I'm like, I wouldn't want to change that, you know, totally. at this point. So that's the, like, that's why I feel with, like with same with mine. Like I'm not like I love my Manny Mew account. And I love yeah. posting on it. And I love doing stories like I still do all that stuff. I just wanted to have an extra thing that I felt like I could be a little bit more like you know, more me in mm-hmm. a way. It's like almost like mm-hmm. me doing more like vloggier stuff. Yeah. I love instead that. of me doing like more like just it's like your lifestyle. To, yes. It's like my baby mini lifestyle. And do you know what's funny, Laura? That's actually so weird. I didn't even tell you this. So when we were on the trip and like we were taking photos stuff like because you know like oh like let's take photos and like let's do the thing. I like literally was having this like weird like out of body experience with taking photos because i hadn't taken them in so long wow because of me doing so many reels and I, i'm every so video second, forward I'm like you want to pick yes go get a and pic I for, and i forget to do that because there's i'm so to used to video con- and there's no really photos photos and so when i was looking at the photos of me i was like feeling like strange about it because i was like how do i pose again like what do i do like i was feeling this really like i was feeling so off looking at photos of myself because I'm so now used to just like video content mm. where the photos were almost making me feel like, do I look like that? Like I was having that same kind of feeling where like I'm having that. I just said in the last episode of the podcast where like you look in the mirror and it you don't feel body like. Body dysmorphia. I was having like this like weird body dysmorphia with it where I was like, do I look like that? Like it was strange. Mm-hmm. I was having this strange because I'm just not used to it anymore. Mm-hmm. After we had like after the the end of the trip, I was like, oh, like, I took some like, cool pictures. Like I'm happy. Yeah. But in the beginning, I was like, oh, fuck, do I need it? Should I take some photos? Yeah. And like you were, thank God you were like, oh, like let's take some, like take some photos. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll do that too. I try to take pictures still, and I which just, is great because you yeah. are so good at them and you look amazing in them. Thank you. But I'm I just mean, so much. More a lot used of people to know. still post their pictures on Instagram. Like totally. A lot of people still post picture. A lot of people don't, but it's because like your pictures like obviously like aren't seen by many people mm-hmm. and your video f- content will actually be seen. So obviously people don't post, but I, like my timeline, I like rarely get into the real section. I stay on my timeline and Same. honestly, I'm not there very, very long on Instagram, mm-hmm. but um, it's a lot of pictures. It's a lot of pictures still. Good. So yeah. it was just strange. It was so yeah. strange to me, like taking them and I was like, okay, th- this is like, I, it was like almost like you're like riding a bike again. Yeah. Because I'm used to like just taking like a selfie here and there and like keeping it moving. Mm-hmm. Not like a photo of me and my body. Yeah. That's the part that I was like kind of like, wow. oh shit. Yeah, like, you're like used to it off. being like your face mostly. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's when the body dysmorphia was kind of settling. And I'm like, stop it, mind. Get out of Settle. there. Get out Settle, of there. Settle, you little whore. Um, so um, it was nice. So I'm, I'm, I'm really grateful that you... Or like take some pictures because I literally if you didn't say let's take some I probably wouldn't take I some. am I'm like I'm very proactive on getting content and taking pictures I'll get video content though yeah I sure will no doubt but a pic of me um Lord. I guess my peak my peak is overall um getting to like I mean I've already like met Ula um mm, mm, himself mm, mm. and i know you have multiple times before like if he throws an event like he's always there mm-hmm. so i've met him he's in his 70s guys and he is like this ball of joy like i've never seen him not in a positive atmosphere Same. and he told me someone that active too yes he's so, so active, active guys he told me he does 300 sit-ups and 300 push-ups every single morning and like i'm like can barely do 10 and i've been working out for a while now Mm -hmm. um it's so impressive actually i can do 30 but i do three segments of 10 gotcha gotcha gotcha, gotcha. yeah but 300 every morning and he's like he explained to me it's like nothing to him because he's been doing it for so long Mm -hmm. and his body's so used to that yeah so it's like doesn't even make him sore like yeah he's just accustomed to it yeah he's so accustomed to it and how you can get accustomed to that lifestyle but he's such an interesting person he's had such an interesting life and he's done super vast life super vast life he's done so much in his life He's from Copenhagen originally, mm. and he lives part time in Los 
Los Angeles with his husband. Did you know they've been together for 38 years? So insane. 38 years. Insane. I had to look it up. Lawrence, he's so amazing too. And I was glad I got to actually spend time with them and get to, it's always really cool to get to know anyone. But it, I also feel like like in people of business and people who have done really great things, it's really cool to get to kind of pick their brain, talk to yeah. them and like get the opportunity to get to know them because they've done incredible things. Mm -hmm. So normally there's like an incredible person and story behind that. And yep. definitely in Ula and Lawrence's case, for sure. So I think that overall was my peak. I, I really enjoyed them. And he also is just like a friendly reminder to be happy. Yeah. Like, just be happy. Healthy mind equals healthy body, too. Which, like, um, truly. Yeah, totally. And he, he does a lot of things, like, eats a lot of brain-healthy foods. Mm -hmm. And, like, he's big on taking care of his brain and yep. his mind. And, like, he's so, so sharp mm -hmm. and very intelligent. And I notice, like, when he speaks, he speaks so confidently. And, like, no you likes. know, people, no likes, um, no but none of that. He just speaks and says what he wants to say. And I think that's so cool. Like, I know a lot of people like have grandparents in their 70s and it's like, you know, it was sometimes harder to talk to, mm -hmm. but he's so sharp. Like yeah. he's so sharp. Like you would never think. No, that no. He was in like never in a million years. He's such an active person mm -hmm. too. Like you definitely like wouldn't think he's like in his 70s based off like the energy he has. And I know it's because of the foods he eats and his lifestyle so totally. super healthy. And like, so he has like good energy. Um, but he's just such a cool, fun person to be around. I couldn't agree more. He's fantastic. Yeah, I love him. Fantastic. I love Lawrence. I love the team. Yeah, like, they're everyone's great. so fucking cool. Everyone's so sweet. And like, it's nice for us because, you know, obviously like being influencers who, you know, talk about products and talk about, you know, skincare and things like that. And like, we use it. Obviously, we talk about it. It's nice to see things like, for example, a product I love. I love the Ulan Hendrickson skincare line. Like, mm -hmm. I'm obsessed. So to see them have such a great team behind it, hear the brand's story, the ingredient story, everything, it makes me like, fall for the product more yeah. in, a, in a way where it's like there's actually cool people behind a cool brand and it it's like a double win yeah you know because you know a lot of times like you'll see a great ass product but the person behind it's fucking sucks or a brand and you're like, or the, the brand sucks yeah and it's like motherfucker but you have such good shit and it's like annoying but at least with them it's like great product and great people behind it which is not always the case truly we've We've been in situations. We certainly have. Mm -hmm. And another thing is Ula actually knows what he's doing and what he's talking about. Because a lot of times I worked in dermatology for four years. Mm -hmm. That does not mean I'm the know all on skincare. And like I know every ingredient. I know everything mm -hmm. is happening. But I was talking with him a little bit about that. And I was talking about about active ingredients I like to use, such as mm -hmm. retinols, tretinoins and whatnot. And he knew so much which normal people they don't know about retinols so and like, like he knows his shit mm -hmm. and like getting to talk to him and like hear him speak like the doctor i worked for would speak about skin i was like oh, okay so like like you know your shit he knows skincare like he knows what will transform your skin for real he knows what's a gimmick and that got me really excited about ula henriksen i've always had products from them that, that like i've loved yeah. but like um some of their newer products have aggressive more the new moisturizer they came out with on the trip has aggressive aggressive ingredients in it mm -hmm. and that got me really excited like transformative same with their yes yeah, stuff that, that would vitamin transform C your serum. skin isn't that, there like, it's like 15 eye cream um like the number one selling I eye cream in sephora love. the vitamin c eye cream and yep. they just took the fragrance out which i thought was really cool I love their eye so. cream. but this is not like a paid thing they're they don't even by know what the doing way, this, by the way yeah not <laughs> like, paid this at is all. not like some like sponsored ass like oh my god we like, uh, like nothing like that this is literally just like we went on the trip we're talking about our real experiences i just want to preface that because it's like we were just on a trip with them i don't want people to think and actually like on the so trip like, they mm. asked us to do no posts like we asked we're so like cool. well if we go like do they are What's there requirements? requirements and they said nothing literally nothing not a snap not a post you're not required to do anything to go on this trip and that was very exciting so for all the people when i posted using their product like get your coin i was like mm, i always put ad if, yeah or partner or like partner Same. or like spawn like I'll let you know yes. so I'm not like trying to pull fast one here Same. I'm I'm here in Ibiza with all this fresh new skincare so I'm I'm using it like yeah. I'm trying it out you know same like literally same when like people be like get that bag and I'm like there's no bag to be well done. it's more of a get the experience hate to disappoint <laughs> yeah. you get that experience just bitch. getting some good skincare experience yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah 
We'll be right we'll back. T- we'll be right back. Yeah, we'll take a break. Thank you to Case Defy for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. If you guys don't know what Case Defy is, it is a tech accessory brand. They sell all kinds of tech accessories, but mainly phone cases. How could guys. you not know? How could How you not? How dare you? Know? You guys, they sponsor this podcast. You better know who they are. You better work. Are Case you kidding Defy. me? I love honestly, I love Case Defy. And not only do they have amazing phone cases that are truly like so gorgeous and stunning and actually eco-friendly, they have great accessories too. They have screen protectors, they have, you know, lens protectors, they have, you know, little like bead attachments that you can like kind of hold on to. I just think that it's cool that they don't just have phone cases. They have so much more. Not only are they QAF, but they're actually functional. So their cases are optimized for protection for up to 11.5 feet with five times the military standard. I think that's absolutely incredible. I mean, you can drop it for up to 130 times. I've dropped mine more. I know. I know you have. So if you guys want to check out Case Defies and you want to get one of the most protective, cool looking, environment friendly phone cases that internet has to offer get 15% off and use the code 15 bull that's 15% off case with code 15 bull or use the link in the description thank you so much to ZocDoc for sponsoring this portion of full coverage you guys have you ever wanted to review your doctors like you review a food yes. item or a product yes and like read them read about the doctor see how they are see what their cadence is see you know who they are as a human being by actual like certified patients yes we have baby that's what zocdoc is oh Oh my God, is actually a free app that shows you doctors who are patient reviewed. So the patients are actually leaving reviews mm-hmm. and they also show you doctors that take your insurance and are available for when you need them. So it really helps you find the right one at the right mm-hmm. time. And honestly, look, you kind of find anyone under the sun. Like they have every specialist that you can even think of, whether you're trying to straighten teeth, fix achy back, get, you know, the mold checked, anything you need, ZocDoc has you covered when it comes to like the range of doctors you can actually find. It's really amazing. Millions of people are using it every month. So that's incredible. And I think it's something we should definitely be looking into reviews of doctors because we review yeah. every, we look at reviews for everything else, but why not our doctors? You guys can go to ZocDoc.com slash full and download the Zoc doc app for free then you start your search for a top rated doctor today many are available within 24 hours that's zocdoc.com slash full zocdoc.com slash full and we're back baby Mm. Mm, mm. Mm, so let's mm. talk about Ibiza let's because we took a Ibiza. pill in Ibiza we took a pill in Ibiza it might have been Dramamine but we still took but it but we took it <laughs> <laughs> but we took we took it a pill in Ibiza we sure did baby so Ibiza is actually an island and it is off of like Spain because it is Ibiza is Spain it but is Spain mm-hmm. there is no like street lights Mm-mm. that part shook me I'm not gonna lie I did not know that he there was no like, stop signs stop signs and like no like red light green light they do none of that. What do they call roundabouts. roundabouts? They do roundabouts, which they do that a lot in all, a lot of European countries. Yeah, but I kind of love it. Yeah. Because there's no like, it's not like a stop sign. It's a roundabout. Well, it's nice because you like can kind of keep moving mm-hmm. and you don't have to stop. But that yep. would just like would never work in LA never. because there's Too so much. many cars. That would be like wreck on wreck on wreck. But yeah. places that things people are on mopeds, which is like smaller and easier to yep. get around. Mm-hmm. There, Everyone's I noticed drives like tiny little Fiat's and mm-hmm. tiny cars and there's way less of them. Whereas in America, it's like bigger is better. It's, like it's just too much. The it's biggest like SUV in the world going yeah. through buses. And, it would never work yeah. there. Imagine the 18 wheelers going through. It wouldn't even, it literally wouldn't even make it. Yeah. Like it's literally like, there's so, it's it's just crazy. So like, it's very much like island living. So everything mm-hmm. starts later there, mm-hmm. which did come as a shock to me. I didn't know that, that their like work day almost starts at like 10 a.m. Yeah. And they do uh, the the pause in the middle of the day for like a nap time, like a two hour break. Mm-hmm. What's it called? From three to uh, five. Is it called Fiesta? I think it's called Fiesta. Yeah. Um, Where they do like a break. And then they do the rest of the work after, and then they do dinners at like 10, 11 p.m. Which for us doesn't matter. I mean, we didn't, totally. we weren't like, oh, it's so late because at the end of the day, we're like completely flip flopped on time. Uh-huh. So we have no idea what day on earth it is. Oh, yeah. No, not at all. It's just funny, like seeing how the culture is so different, like in that way, where everyone's a little bit more like laid back and lax. And it's more like island living mm-hmm. almost, where everything's a little bit more chill and like, 
not so hustle, bustle, go, go, go like it is in America. Because yeah. like in America, it's very like boom, boom, work, boom, work, boom, work, boom. Work, work, Because even like when we did the lunches, the lunches went so much longer than they were like supposed to technically. It's so funny because like the lunches and dinners would last between three and four hours, which was kind of wild. Every time Unhe I go to like, Europe, it's like of. this. Yeah. And someone for said, well, there, whenever you uh, reserve a table, you have it for the night. And I'm like, Jesus, when you rent a table in LA, like if you reserve a table, you get it for 90 minutes. You're like boom. And you better believe that waiter or waitress is going to say, okay, we have your table here for 90 minutes. They're going to remind you, you're going to get your ass up. Mm -hmm. You're going to eat and you're going to get the fuck out of here uh -huh. because they want to make more money. They make the coin. And I was talking to one of the girls who lives in Madrid, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but she was on our trip. I think she was wor her. either working for the agency. She was working for the agency. Um, she was working with the agency that works with Ula and she was just talking about, I was like, tell me about Madrid. So she was like telling me how like in America, like we're so work driven and like in Madrid, like they don't work. They 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 live and they work just enough to live. Like they they it's don't the, they spend... don't live to work. Right. They work to live. Right. And how like they do the fiesta mm -hmm. and like you make enough money to like enjoy your life and that's it. Like none of the other necessities and all. Like you don't spend your lifetime working and hustling and bustling. You just actually enjoy your life mm -hmm. and like. And I was like, that's so interesting. Um. And then I was like, wow. I was like, in America, it's like hustle, 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 hustle till the day you die. Till you make it. And, and then even I, then still hustle. I even realized, like, listening to music, like, it, it kind of awoken to me to just how heavily that is embedded in us in America. Because, listen, I we were listening to Iggy. The song is about work. Work. Her making her way up, her hustle, her work. Mm -hmm. Britney Spears, you better, you better work, work bitch. bitch. You want a fast car? You want money? You work. You better work, bitch. Uh -huh. It is in everything we do. Restaurants, you're not going to sit and leisure around. You're going to eat. You're going to get out. And that's so the waiter in the restaurant can make can more work. money. Yes. It's and keep everything it going. here is hustle and bustle. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow. Especially in Los Angeles. Oh, that's yeah. That's even more than that's like That's even more than like in country. Alabama where yeah. I'm from. Like, it's definitely like a hustle. Like, everybody has to work a lot, you know, a mm -hmm. lot there. Because I think like people, I mean, I'm sure I work 40 hours a week, but I work doing something I love. Like I work on my dream. Totally. But I think like working for the man 40 hours a week is just outrageous. Totally. Because the small amount of time where you going home for two or three hours and then going to bed, like that's it, mm -hmm. you know? And like doing that your whole life, like, you know, and I think Gen Z more than anything has really caught on to that. Totally. And I, and I honestly, like there's like, when we were there, I'm like, there was like these things where I really was like, damn, like I really wish that like we in America had taken on more of these like values of like, you know, yeah. working to live yeah. and not like living to work. Yeah. And this like idea that it's like, just work enough for your means to be mm -hmm. comfortable, to be happy, and then just live your life and just do whatever you gotta do. Cause that's literally what life is like in Spain. And that's mm -hmm. what they do. They take these breaks in the middle of the day. They eat super late. They go out, they party. When we went out that one night, we were out at what, two in the morning and mm -hmm. literally there's 80 year olds on the dance floor, like oh, holding yeah. each other dancing. Like going hard. Do you remember that shit? Yeah. Like, and everyone's out, like literally like all the like older people that are eating dinner and stuff like that are out at midnight, one in the morning, eating dinner, just like living. First of all, I have a bone to pick. They took us to like the biggest nightclub in Ibiza, which was so fun. So me and Manny are like- What's that called? Pacha. Which we're fucking delusional because uh -huh. when oh, our yeah. plane landed, we checked in the hotel oh. and they were like, you guys can be downstairs at 8.30. And I was like, no. We can't. Like it's 7.30 now and I'm not even in my room. Uh, still have to shower. I just flew for 12 and a half hours. Like I mm -hmm. need a shower. I have to do full glam. Manny has to do glam. We have to get ready. I have to fix my hair. Like, there's no way. By the time I get all. to my room in 40 minutes, I'm going to be able to do all that and be ready to go. I was like, no. But I was like, let's do 845. Yeah. So give me we like an hour. It. Yeah. And I can pull it together. And she's like, great. And then the driver mm. was like, um, 830. So the girl that was with us with Ula was like, he was like, I can only come at 8.30 to get y'all. And the yeah. girl's like, well, you know what? There's so many influencers going. Just come at 8.30. You can take some of them. Yes. Because there's so many people going. Right. 
You don't and need we're to like, take us. right. So he apparently went into the lobby and like went off on the receptionist and mm-hmm. said that I, you not you or Eden, nope. not me or Eden, just me, needed to get the fuck down there now. Apparently he's being ugly here. So she called me and I was like, hello. And they're like, your driver's here. I was like, no, no, I'm leaving at 845. Uh-huh. Like, I still I got my people done. meeting Eden and Manny. Like, we're good. And she's like, no, you need to come. And I was kind of like, I've never in a receptionist in my life tell me like to get my ass down there. They called me three times, told me to come downstairs. And I'm like, no, what the fuck? And mm-hmm. as it turns out, I found out the driver was like was going crazy. Was hounding That's her. Why like she going crazy. So times. But why me? I know. I'm like one why of you? three people here. And they're like telling me mm-hmm. I need to come down there when none of us were ready till 845. So anyways, I was like, no. <laughs> So they <laughs> like, tried it. I don't know. I literally said, well, can we just like ask the driver to leave? <laughs> like, can we yes, tell literally. him? We'll take a cab. I will pay for my own cab and I will get to dinner. It's literally right down the road. Mm-hmm. I, I'll do it. I'll figure it out. It was, that was really weird. I remember that, that happening. And I was like, what's going on? Why is she like hounding you? Yeah. Wasn't that And strange? I was like, we literally had 40 minutes from touchdown at the 40 hotel minutes. from from literally traveling for i would say what like 16 hours yeah. including delays actually maybe like 18 including yeah. the delays plus the driving oh yeah so we were driving for like 18 hours and they're like you have 40 minutes to be ready and be done and get downstairs for dinner and then we're going out to the club after and this is the kicker so me like, and manny are troopers we're like we are we, we are, are fucking, fucking troopers. We rally. We will we're like, fucking rally. We're going. We're gonna we're go gonna out. out. We're gonna put smiles on our face, mm-hmm. and we're not. We're gonna act like we're okay. Yeah, we're gonna act like we're just fine when, when got, we when you know we're not. I'm running off fumes when you know we're not. So we were like fucking delusionally mm-hmm. tired, and we go to the club, and everybody's going to the club, and suddenly we turn around and look. Why is it that all the people from the other countries who took a two hour flight that day have already gone back to the hotel and they leave me and Manny at and the club? We're literally, I think we were the last two ones. of like four influencers yeah. left. Yeah, we were because um, the two sweet babies, the sisters, yes, the, the sisters. sisters from Denmark stayed oh with my us. God, I love the that. sisters from Denmark stayed with us. And they I rallied. was like, why the fuck are we out here? dancing our ass off, supporting the brand, mm. participating in the activities off no sleep and flying and traveling for 18 hours. When other people flew in early this morning off a two hour flight yeah. and had the entire day to rest are at the hotel. <laughs> at that point, I'm like, are we just rallying to rally? You know what I like, think what it is? What are we doing? I don't know. I think Americans are like that. Maybe because are. let me tell you something. If it wasn't it me and you on that trip difference. and they invited like Karen, Shayla, anyone, they would have done the same they thing. They would have done the same thing they as done us. The same shit. They would have rallied they as fuck. They would have rallied as fuck. And they would have figured it out. They would have like figured it out. I know for a fact they would have been I know for out. a fact. I know for a and fact. And they would have been taking shots. Yep. And they would have been having fun. And they would have been dancing their asses off. And like maybe that is just like an. But we also came literally like 18 hours. Like we're not just going to like get there. And like do nothing for the night. Yeah. You know that either. Maybe that was like a difference where it's like we're going <laughs> to figure it out. Maybe that was it. I'm like, I'm going to drink this sugar free Red Bull and we're going to and we're going to go. I took some shots. Yeah. Well, you know, we needed things needed to happen. OK, so then me and Manny go back to the room. I don't even know what time it is. Maybe three, two, uh-huh. three, somewhere uh-huh. in there. Yep. Three. We go back to the room and we're starving. We're famished. starred. We're famished. We're actually famished. We're- I would say we're at the famished point because <laughs> we had traveled so much. We had like dinner earlier on, mm-hmm. but it's like three in the morning now. And I'm like, dude, I like can't. Like eight hours have gone by. Yeah. And I'm fucking starving. I'm like, we can't. We need. We can't. I can't survive like this. So we look at the room service menu and it was like a plate of chopped ham and a plate of cheese. And <laughs> what's our option? So- I, so I call a friend us. So I'm like, hey, like, what are your like late night food options? Because they have like this late night menu. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, will you let me know what it is? And she's like, we have a plate of ham. We have a plate of cheese. And we have hummus. And I thought, I was like, okay, like they have hummus. Manny's like, let me talk to my room. My, ro- room, my fellow roomie. My roomie. And, and I'll, I'll get, back to I'll you. get back to you. So he's like, Laura. I hang up and I'm like. There's, there, he was like, we're fucked. First I said we're fucked. We're no, doomed. he was like, we're fucked. There's no food. Like, we're going to die. <laughs> yeah. I was like, we're like, I can't do this at three in the morning. Like, it's just not going to happen for us. I so was like, like, no, we can't you're like, take no. What? no. Like, you're like, what was it? And I was like, we have a <laughs> vegetarian sandwich. We have a plate of ham, a plate of cheese, 
hummus. And I was like, hummus. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, we can do it like with pita. I was like, let's You're right. just fucking right. do hummus yeah. and go to bed. And he's like, great. So I call him back and I'm like, hi, can I get the plate of hummus? And she's like, hummus? hummus. <laughs> Girl, there ain't no hummus here. <laughs> I don't know what it's delusional ass her. It's three in the morning. There was no hummus. There was the no hummus. So I'm like, I am so sorry, ma'am. I am so sorry. And of course, I'm like, Laura, call him back to order the hummus. So I hang up. I'm like, sorry about that. Scratch the hummus. There's no like, hummus. What else was there exactly? It's just like, there's so like a. I called base. her a third time. So I hung up and then I was like, I'm so hungry, ma'am. Can you please? <laughs> What do you have please? again? Just tell me what you have. Just please. And so we we went with the vegetarian sandwich. Mm-hmm. To this day, we don't know what we ate that night. Not no fucking idea. But we ate it. It was two, two pieces of bread. It and was, there was a lot of things inside. There was a lot of things going uh-huh. on. And then there was also that soup. The soup. It was like a tomato <laughs> This soup, Bisque which soup? I thought was going to be a promising. I was like, oh, that could be a promising moment. A soup. Laura takes a spoonful, blows on it. Does it? Ice cold. It was ice cold. I looked at me. It was like, I was like ice cold. cold. And you were like, <gasps> and I was like, oh my, she burned herself. Complete opposite. It, it froze cold. her from the inside out. I was like, mm-hmm. it sends me cold soup. We were just literally dead Del- inside. We were 24 delusional. 24 hours. Definitely over 24 hours. Oh, for so sure. Sleep. Like literally delusional. All I had was some plain sleep. And that, that sleep is not even, it's a flutter. I didn't get the plane sleep. You didn't even get it. Okay, so that happened, which there's always funny food stories when we go to Europe. Always, always in Europe. Or like, anywhere. Actually, Mexico sits me good. I'm great. I, I eat better in Mexico Listen, than fine. I do here. But because it's like such a different like f- type of food in Europe, you know? <laughs> do you remember when room service brought me out? <laughs> they brought me that cup of ice. <laughs> I had like one half melted cube. It was a half baby cube. <laughs> it was melted. And I'm like, Laura... We're in the Europe. Here we and that is what that, <laughs> that it's honestly the thing is though when you go to Europe, like that's part of the European experience. It is. So you have to just like take you're just like, you know what? This is what going to Europe's about. You know what you one thing warm, that triggers Manny juice. in Europe? What? Oh uh, no, one more juice. That'll trigger me. <laughs> is they will not give you water. Like if they they did because the brand obviously was like we want water on every table they'd bring out like okay like a water bottle like the size for an individual like a water bottle and fill all the glasses a little bit like with a drizzle. Mm-hmm. And it's like, like this much water, and I'm like I'm Man, a fucking fish. Man, they'd be like, can we get, can we get um some more water? And they'd bring out one more. It was literally guys. So imagine like a a twelve ounce of a water bottle for six people. <laughs> At it, like, uh, uh, more. It's, 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 uh, it was maybe eight, eight of maybe us. It was eight of us there at the table. There were eight of us at the table. And like, tss, tss, tss. And they left it there as if there was anything left. There was literally nothing, just a goblet. And I'm like, we're gonna need about four more of those. Thank you. And they bring one. Bring back. back one. And I'm they like, bring back one. And I'm like, we need like. I was like, I don't think I should get, leave a goblet with me. Just Americans only me. are thirsty. They're thirsty and like they just like want hose. a lot. I've come to realize like because the portions in the EU and like Europe are so much more controlled. In America, the the proportions are like astronomical. It's too much. That yeah. was too much. Yeah, it was too much. You know, it's like too much. But like because I'm so used to these kind of portion sizes, where like when they give me a a glass of water and the glass of like I'm like, oh, can I get a large? I'm like, yeah, for sure. And it's this big. Yeah. I'm not used to that. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, can I get a little bit more? You know what's funny too? It makes me notice things here because yeah. I assume since I've lived in America my entire life, mm-hmm. they're normal, but I it's not safe to assume like you shouldn't. Yeah. And like I notice here, like wherever restaurant you're at, typically, especially in LA, they'll just go ahead and bring like a jug of water this big of mm-hmm. still water and just set it on your table with glasses. Just like figure it out. Without you even asking for mm-hmm. it. Like that's like normal here. But right. like, it's like definitely not the case everywhere. So you get like really used to that. You totally know? I'm just that's what I'm just more accustomed to so it's like it is so fun like in a way when you go to different countries and you're like this is so different it is. and it's like this like kind of it gets you shock. out of your comfort it zone it does and like that I, I feel like whenever you're out of your comfort zone like you're growing in a way you know it is growing Definitely. pains in a way so it's like kind of fun to be in it where you're like okay I'm kind of like 
not that I'm like being challenged. I don't challenged, know why. I'm not it makes challenged. me laugh. It makes you laugh too. It cracks me up. Because you don't have to laugh it off. Yeah. Can we talk about the waitress though? Let's go ahead and jump into By the way, they took us to like the prettiest restaurants. Literally ever. In all the land. Like so, I've Literally never ever. been to restaurants. And I will say, do you remember the food on the first night? Those raviolis? Oh. <gasps> the ravioli will take me out every time. The pasta. So the fucking pasta good. in oh. Europe. Literally. There is no comparison. I couldn't see. That is what I was wanting for room service. Now, if they had that, I you would never. The, you didn't want the plate of ham? <laughs> the cold cuts. You don't want the cold. You don't want no, the No, at three in the morning, I do not want hunks of ham. I don't. I didn't either. I don't. I didn't either. I wanted the fucking ravioli and I wanted the spaghetti. Oh, my now, God. Now, those. The pasta. Please. More, 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 more is more. And the thing is, the cool thing about eating there, too, when you do eat the pasta and stuff like that. You get full, but you don't feel icky. Yeah. I don't feel icky when I eat like a lot of food there. Because I'm like, oh, I feel like the food's like. I feel like it's clean it's and cleaner. fresh. Like really fresh. It's cleaner. It's better. It's nicer. The, better best pizza, is Papa the, John's. the best is the tomatoes. I had tomatoes every single day. Every day. All day. I eat tomatoes every day here in LA. And I literally had tomatoes every single day there with like burrata cheese. Like literally all Me the time. Me and Ula were talking about the tomatoes because I'm a tomato fanatic. You are. You're a tomato holic. A holic. Okay, so the waitress. Let's dive in. Before we get into the waitress story, though, we're going to take a quick break. And we'll be and right back. we'll be back. right back with a little story time. Okay. <laughs> Thank you to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this portion of full woo, woo, coverage. Woo, woo, woo. We love Athletic Greens up in here. I'm honestly so excited that we got this sponsorship because this is something I kind of more started recently, like kind of starting on this Athletic Greens health journey. journey. And I keep hearing about it and I'm like, oh my God, what is this about? Like what, like, you know, what's, 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 what's cracking? You know, sometimes I'm like such a girl on the go and I started taking AG1, which is Athletic mm -hmm. Greens. Mm -hmm. Because I know good and well, I do not get my nutrition in. You're supposed right. to have five cups of fruits and veggies a day. Five cups of uh -huh. them. That's a lot. That's so much. How the, can I get there? Right. And I just know I don't get it in. You know, especially it helps with digestion. We all know. Mm -hmm. We all know my journey on that. But you know what's cool about Athletic Greens is that literally one scoop of AG1, you're absorbing 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source ingredients, probiotics, and adaptogens to help you start your day right in the special blend, which I think is really, really great for your gut health specifically. It supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, energy, recovery, focus, aging, everything that matters that you could potentially think that you need, AG1 has it, Athletic Greens. It also costs less than $3 a day. You're investing in your health and it's cheaper than a cold brew. I also just feel like it's just easier. I feel like it makes my routine a little bit easier, especially when I'm like, oh my gosh, I cannot remember something or like, I'm like, oh my God, I didn't get my greens or anything like that in. This just makes it like literally 10 times easier in my routine in the morning to just kind of consume it and go. What's also cool about them is they have over 7,000 five-star reviews and with every purchase, they donate to organizations to help get nutritious foods to kids in need. Mm -hmm. So no hungry that. kids in the U.S. is what I they donate to. love that. You guys, right now it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash full coverage. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash full coverage to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Period. Okay, so we're back. And we're coming back with a story time that happened at the restaurant. Yep. So the thing is, there's a table of like what? There's like six of us. I think there's like six of us. And so when usually when you go, like when you're at an event and you go to these events, like they have like a pre-planned meal, like menu that's on your guys' table and you pick the things that you want, like which of the entrees you, you want. You just want the pick chicken? your main course. Pick your main course. You want chicken, steak, da, da, da. So you pick them all every, and they go around each person like, what would you like as your main, right? Mm -hmm. So the the waitress goes around, does it to everyone. She goes back. I realized that she didn't take my order. Mandy goes, oh my God, the waiter I didn't like, take oh, my shit, order, order, but she took everybody's order. She didn't take mine. So he's like, I need a like, flagger. 
Cause I, cause I thought I'm like, oh, did she take your guys' order? She I was did, like, right? yeah, she and took like, everybody. Oh, she missed mine. It's all good. I was like, hey, I continue to put my order in. She comes back and she's like, <laughs> hey, what's up? And I was like, hey, I just wanted to put my order in. Like, I did, I realized I didn't put it in when you came around. And she was like, yes, you did. Girl, she was confident. No, she was very like, yeah, you did. She was like, no, you did. No, you did. And he goes, no, I, you were no, like, I, no, no, I, no, no, I, I didn't. I, I never put an order. With, I put a drink order with you because I got like a virgin pina colada, and I was like, Which I put the virgin out pina. To be a- <laughs> <laughs> absolutely had alcohol and I was like okay can we turn that back but I was like that's what I had put in but I didn't put like a food order in she's like yeah no, you did she says I took six orders there's six things that's what she said she, she said I orders. have six orders in she said so I took it and so I literally I'm like is she gaslighting me yeah <laughs> and I don't even know if I'm using the term gaslighting correctly in the sentence but like I'm like are you gaslighting me or you th- you're making me think I did something that I didn't do Manny at that point, he's like, I, I didn't order. And she goes, I took six orders. Let me go check. No, because I go. So then <laughs> she goes, she's like, I took six orders. I was like, what did I order then? Oh, yes. I was like, okay, so what did I order? And she's like, I'm going to go check in the back to see what you ordered. I'm like, okay. Like, let me know as soon as you come back when I ordered. She comes back. She's like, somehow. No, she goes, I don't know what happened. Yeah, she's like, I don't know she what said, happened. I remember when she said, I don't know what happened. I, I was like, what he happened. just told you I literally what just happened. told you what happened. You didn't take my order. I don't know what happened, but um, what do you, what would you like to order? That's what she said. And I'm like, she said, well, what I happened don't know is that what you didn't happen, take my order you and like? you were gaslighting me <laughs> into thinking that I did. So that's when I asked you, what did I order? You had no idea. <laughs> but it was funny that she wasn't backing down. And I was no. like, dude, I'm not like lying out of nowhere. We were nowhere. all laughing at Everyone's the table. Everyone's table was giggling because I'm like. <laughs> it was just so funny watching this play out. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's staring at me and I'm, they're like, what's he going to do? Yeah. And I'm like. We were. Um, we were like. <gasps> tell the truth. Yeah. I didn't order anything. And it's just funny that she was so like adamant about it. And then like, I feel like the rest of the time she was very like, here you go. Like, yeah. uh, with me. And I was the one bitch at the table that she was just kind of like. Uh, like, fuck with. This like, bitch. fuck this bitch. And, his and I was burger. like, I'm sorry that I was. <laughs> but it was such died. a funny it was such a funny experience i was like i don't know what's going on here I but i'm not gonna let you died. have this nope well I'm you wanted to you eat this. Well, you i was also hungry eat. you're also hungry i was also starving by the way these are not complaints we're just telling stories no, they, they, just, funny, just how it just, just happened funny shit that happened <laughs> just funny shit i'm not complaining <laughs> it was just actually hilarious i'm like this can't be real i have one more Am I getting punked? little funny story and then we can do give trivia it, give it okay tea Okay, so on the trip, I was starving again. I think it was like three in the morning. Do you remember? I, I called or texted yes. you. I was like, Manny, I'm, Manny, I'm so, so hungry. hungry. This is like one of the, I think that like the dinner that night was like the options weren't as like easy for you. I think it was like lamb or like yeah. fish. Yeah. Oh, like it was the night where it was the raw steak. Yes. Like, and yes, I was it was like, raw fuck. steak. It was like the steak was like super, super red. It was still bleeding. <laughs> and you like literally like it well done. So it was the complete opposite of what you like. Um, I had, I just like, I'm putting this fucking thing down. Yeah. I was too hungry. Yeah. But I was okay. It was either fish or it was like that raw steak. And so you didn't eat anything. <laughs> and so I had gotten so hungry. And so we got back to the room and I texted Manny. I was like, Manny, I'm so hungry. Like, Manny, what do I do? What do I do? Like, what do I do? I was eating I can't the do oranges the ham. that were the decor in the room. <laughs> I was peeling the decor and eating it. She I, literally was eating the oranges I in the room. I had blown through all of my snacks from the airport. Mm-hmm. I had half a crunch bar left, which I couldn't eat at three in the morning or else I wouldn't have gone to sleep. So I text Manny. I'm like, what do you have in your in your book bag from the airport three days ago? Okay, you guys ready for my what? snacks? I had a little bit of beef jerky. I had those pretzels that have some um, chocolate on them. Flips. And I had a kind bar. And, uh, and I was like, this is what I have for Laura. options, Laura. If you were like, my dude, Laura's on the sixth floor. I was on the first floor. He's very far away. I'm so far from He's her. He's across the hotel. <laughs> so I was like. I'm like, would you like to come over here for the snacks I have selected here? Was, oh, and sour strips. Oh, we also had sour straws. Mm-hmm. Sour strips, sour, sour, sour strips. That's a sour strip. So those are my four morsels I had left for us. <laughs> I was like, I think. I'm going to eat the decor oranges. I'm going to eat the decor oranges because I think there's one left because <laughs> I'd been eating a whole <laughs> trip and I don't let room service come in because I'm a control freak and uh-huh. I'm just like, I keep the room clean. I'm not right. like wrecking no, totally. it in there. So I'm like, I'm good. I don't need anything. And so um, I every night would eat my airport snacks as 
survive. <laughs> not every night though. No. Like you would more like pick on them because you picked that dinner. No, I ate dinner, but we would get back so late. So, late, so it would yeah. be like my second dinner. Mm-hmm. You know, whenever you've been totally. out all night and you come home, you want You're McDonald's like, or a bag yes. of Doritos. Yes. So that was kind of what that was for yes, me. It was you know, snack. like I would come back and like eat that before I go to so bed because we were night. also like jet lagged and it was literally yeah. like dinner time when we come back at three in the morning. It was my second dinner. Mm-hmm. You know. Your dinner dinner. My, it was my dinner dinner. Uh-huh. Because I would get hungry again and then um, I would eat in the bed and I didn't let room service come in so on the, <laughs> on the last night. <laughs> <laughs> I just yes, you have to tell I'm them. I'm so hungry. Yep. And I'm like eating this half stale ass granola bar that had been open because I ate half of it on the flight over. Yes, this so is this is four days four in. days open. Mm-hmm. Granola bar, I'm and eating. And you're like this. <laughs> <laughs> sure, savoring every bite. <laughs> like the horse and sponge. Like the horse and sponge are like this. <laughs> That's me. That was you with a <laughs> kernel like, mm, from that mm, chewy mm, bar. Mm, mm, and then peeling a little piece of orange. <laughs> I'm like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. And I look down and there are ants <laughs> all in my bed. There are they, ants. You guys, they bit her. Fucking everywhere, biting me in the bed. And at this point, I'm so tired. We have to get up in two hours oh, to go yeah, to the airport. Our flight, or our flight was super early. Our fucking flight is so early. We had to get up at 6 a.m. And mm-hmm. at this point, it's four in the fucking morning. Yep. And I'm sitting in an ant infested bed eating a four day old granola bar. bar. <laughs> We park. Mm-hmm. I'm so hungry, and I'm literally just being bitten by ants. I was literally, and you're literally like, ah. <laughs> I was literally like, please let me sleep. Like you guys can stay. Just stop just let me sleep. Me. And all night, I just could feel these little things crawling on me because they're so Lord, tiny. Would the it would almost feel like a piece out. of hair on yes, me or something. Like it was a so tiny until they bite. <laughs> It was awful. So then we did the airport process. All of us. It was Ula's assistant, me and Manny going through the airport. Uh uh We were so fucked up and tired. Oh, we were like actually delusional because we had to wake up at six. We we all got two hours. But all three of us Uh got two hours of sleep. And we had to go through like do the smaller flight and then the big flight. So we had to be (gasps) conscious. I counted. Well, I counted it. Because I was like, okay, two hours of sleep. How many hours between at six o'clock when I get picked up at the airport? By the way, I woke up at five fifty for my six yep, o'clock pickup. I so I was like, not a minute not to spare. It. I'm not doing it. Not a minute to spare. I will mm-hmm. sleep as long as I can. So I was like, I counted. I was like, how many hours before we get on that long that long flight? So that's when we can go back to sleep. Mm-hmm. It was seven hours. So we had to be up for seven hours before the long flight. And normally on flights, I have so much trouble sleeping. I get yeah. so like I, I get you do. anxious you don't sleep and easily. I, I don't. You don't. Let me tell you something. Being so sleep deprived, as soon as I sat down on that plane, I normally Lights have to out. set up a mask, yes. like a head pillow, like a special blanket folded, uh-huh. and like one leg a out, headphone. A, a headphone, socks uh-huh. off, earplugs, like the full work. I'm talking about. I sat down. And I woke up six hours later. I'm proud of you, though. In the air. Because that don't happen to you, so I'm very That proud. never have. That's how tired I was. <laughs> no. Can we talk about when we were at the airport and those bitches tried to cut you? Oh, Lord! Yeah, so, no. by the way, guys, this is a random time before we even get into that story. We're telling funny things of the trip. The trip was miraculous. It, it was, was literally amazing. fucking incredible. But it's, I think to us, like, and to me, like, in you, it's like, it's weird to be like, the, the, Everything was fantastic and perfect and wonderful. Like we had you a great guys want to hear the like funny you want to hear the funny stuff. like like the fun shit about the trips, right? Like you're not mm-hmm. trying to hear like the dinner was gorgeous. Like it was. It like was. everything was like gorgeous. Everything was literally perfect and stunning and incredible. And it we was loved like it. one of the first times we didn't even have to work to get content on the trip. Yes. We were able just to enjoy the trip. We actually got like, to have fun, and the brand literally was like, "You don't even have requirements. Yeah, you get to do what you guys want to do. Have fun." And I was like. Oh my God, this never happened. And anything we didn't want to do or did want to do, they were like, we don't care. We don't care. We don't care. But we wanted to rally because obviously be rally for the brand. So we're just talking about like funny things that were like, holy fucking hell, this happened to us in this (laughs) incredible experience. I don't want people to be commenting like, oh, you guys sound ungrateful. It's like, no. We had the like, most amazing time. Like, do you want us to time. sit here for an hour and talk about how, how amazing Ibiza obviously was? It was amazing. It was amazing. But there was funny ass times in it that were like hilarious. hilarious. We that think this like shit's funny. This is us <laughs> talking behind yeah. the scenes and we just <laughs> yes. have the cameras rolling. And now we just have the camera roll. It's like, oh my God, this camera just happened to us. So can we talk about when we literally, so this is at, <laughs> this is in between first flight where we don't really get to sleep because the, the flight is like, 
it's only an hour long flying to Madrid. Yeah. And so it's like the, the chairs aren't very comfortable. It's like not like the easiest way to sleep. You can't sleep on it. So by the time we got that, the, the going to the next place for the next flight, it was far. It was like it 35 was really minutes far. away. Like and there were signs saying like, go now. Cause um, gate seven is like 35 minutes away. Yes. And we're like, what? Yeah. Like, it was far. So good to take like the trolley to it, the whole thing. So we had got to the spot where it was like the tram to get there. And so we, me, you, Heather, we were all at the front. And these people started like hoarding in. And it was like kind of freaky because it looked like an apocalypse. Mm -hmm. There were so many people that were like starting to crowd towards the front. Like where the thing's going to open. Yeah. And we wanted to get on the train because we were well, the first ones there. We were there. Like so we literally we got were up close there. to the train to make sure secure us a spot. Uh huh. And then as soon as like the train pulls up, of course, and I knew it. I was Laura like, there's it. so many people around us right now. When this train pulls up, they're definitely going to knock our asses out of the like, way. They're going to try to. They're, they're going to try it. Like, boom, and they're going to try to push us out of the way just because of the amount of people. So I just knew people were going to like start to crowd around, which is fine. But when this person literally try to put two persons oh you're right it was a couple it was a couple try to push me out of the way and like to get to in front of laura like specifically they were I... trying to like move her around laura literally gets her backpack <laughs> and she goes immediately <laughs> right in front of them she's like i think the, the fuck, fuck not. not i was like oh i think the fuck not and, and I she stands my back. right like... in front of them to be like uh, 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 uh. Uh, and Laura goes, and I literally started laughing because it was so fucking funny. She's like, I'm too tired for this shit. I was like, I'm was too like, fucking yeah. tired. I was like, y'all can cut me on a day when I slept. <laughs> but not but this today, day. bitch. We're fighting for our spot in the train. No, because you guys, the train. Yo. I have never been on never. like a tram train thing that got so never. congested with people. Like I've never, never seen anything like in it my before life. my life. Like it was literally never. like, you couldn't even like lift your arms mm -mm. up. To like mm. do anything. My face like, was, was against the glass because mm -hmm. we went in first. Yep. So we were pushed to the side of the train mm -hmm. where the other door was. And my mm -hmm. face, I literally couldn't even turn my head the other way because my face was on the glass. Yes. No, it was literally. That's how packed guys, it, was. it was. packed like crazy. And so we didn't realize a lot of the people that were coming in had like these really intense, uh, what are they called? Like when it's like. Layovers, super, like, fast, quick layover. like quick layovers. Where they, they didn't realize that the terminal was also 40 minutes away and they were going to miss their flight. So they're pounding and rushing and going crazy and all trying to get into this one little bus. Well, technically our, we should have been rushing too, but our flight, um, we didn't, it got delayed. But like technically we were trying to book it as mm -hmm. well. Like we, we were weren't just like, oh, we have all the time in the world. No. We were also trying to like hurry up. Our flight mm -hmm. ended up getting delayed, but we didn't know that till we were at our gate. Mm -hmm. So they delayed it when we got to our gate, but only by like, a couple like 20 minutes or yeah, so. Yeah, 20 minutes. So, but um, but yeah, we were rushing too. So I was like, uh -uh, it was wild. Ma'am. It was wild. Like you I'm ain't just not stepping in front of me. Mm -mm. And also like I'm not used to like the hoarding. Yeah. Where it's like I the people were like just so on you, like as if like chest to chest, yeah. like literally like on top of you. Yeah. And I was like, I'm just like so not used to this. Cause I, I get I get kind of claustrophobic. Mm -hmm. So when we're in a small space and like I can't like easily move, that's when I start to get like a little more panicky. Yeah. And we're underground. Yeah. So my like your phone doesn't really work as much. Like all those things add up in my Oof. mind where I'm like, what like something could happen and I would have no idea. Yeah. And like I would freak the fuck out. You know what I mean? So, so it was definitely an experience. When I tell you, when I made it to that plane in Madrid mm -hmm. to go home. Bliss. Bliss. Well, it'll be also delusional. Yeah. Like, because, like, when you're jet-lagged. If jet -lagged, I had slept, who cared? Literally, who sleep cares? makes the biggest fucking difference. It does. It's actually shocking. Like, it changes your whole personality. I'm a different person off two hours of sleep. Me too. I'm not even the same person. Like, literally, you fuck with me on two hours of sleep? I'm going to be honest. You probably could have cut me. Oh, If I had slept sure. a full eight hours, you probably could have like, cut and me. And you honestly probably wouldn't have thought anything of I, it. I but you're also trying have. to rush. I probably would have been like, all right, just step in front of me. But I probably would have definitely not said anything. Like, you would have cared. Two hours of sleep, bitch. Let's go. You're like, we're battling. Let's go right now. We're going to fucking We're going to fight battle. this one out. I got two hours of sleep. We're fighting this one. I'm getting uh, on this train. Honestly, like I like wish like some of that was in me sometimes. Well, just. I don't know what it sleep is. Sleep deprive yourself enough <laughs> and then you'll be good. I'll get there. <laughs> yeah. I just wish I had more of it. Like sometimes I wish I was like, dang, I wish I was more like. Ugh. Okay. Do you want to do trivia now? Yeah. Do we have any more? Thank you, Ula, for the amazing experience. Oh, it was Incredible. blissful trip like, absolutely wonderful and like one so of the, many memories honestly, one of my favorites so far one of my favorite trips so Truly. far and enough memory like i'll there's so many things that happen that are so funny like memories for a lifetime oh like I like they're literally like their core memories unlocked core memories like the, i'll literally remember forever and shout out to eden 
Oh, our baby girl. That's our U.S. rep. We and love you. She is our little angel. And thank you for taking such good care of us. We had so much fun. We were literally the only Americans there. And thank you for finding us American adapters <laughs> so we can steam our clothes and charge our laptops. Eden like not, made that happen. Not my steamer blowing out. Uh, well, the, no, out, the, the wattage the wattage is different. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Blew up. Tyler, what trivia are we doing today? Are we ready? We're ready. Ready to guys, rumble. We're getting into spooky season. <gasps> We may be jumping the gun on this. When does this no, podcast this come, go this on? This comes will out it, in two weeks. Will it so at least like, be October? It will be. Okay. <gasps> See, we're just, we're on the right gun. Okay, cool. So yeah, we're going to do a Halloween-based trivia. I'm so freaking excited for Halloween trivia. Yeah. Like, I can't even handle What's it. What's your favorite Halloween movie? Manny, you don't like scary <laughs> movies, do you? Mm -mm. you like, yeah. I like Hocus you like Pocus. like sweet Halloween movies like Hokey Pokey. Hokey, Hokey Pokey. <laughs> Tyler, how Pokey. dare you? No, I like Hocus Pocus and like yeah. Halloween Town. Like those are like my vibes mm. for Halloween. You're going to go to a scary movie with us. You are. It's going to happen. I'll do one. Like I'll do like one a year. Like for just for the men. You're a trooper. Right. I'm a trooper Great. for like trooper. one time. Great. Um, You're like, great, it's happening. Cool. Oh no, it's Moving happening. Forward. Whether you <laughs> okay. thought it was happening or not, it's happening. Tyler does this to Manny. <laughs> he does it. He picks on me. He does. I for fear. I support it. Fear is a factor for me, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> on the show, they're like, fear is fear a factor. Fear is a factor. <laughs> Manny's like, I know. I love like, fear factor. He's like, I know. I told you guys that. I love fear factor. <laughs> me too. I wish they'd bring it back. I know. They did. They um, did. And it All right, flopped. so yeah. before we get into the questions, real quick debate: candy corn is it good or is it not good? No, <gasps> no. Do you know what's funny though? It's I will. I love I'll candy bite, corn. I'll bite like the tips of the candy corn, just but I'm tip. not like really enjoying it. I'm doing it yeah. just because it's candy corn. It's not and it's the nasty, holidays. but it's nothing I would want to waste the. What calories about the on. orange pumpkins? See? Oh, those okay, are good. Listen. Those are the same as candy <laughs> corn. I know, but there's something about the pumpkins. <laughs> There's something about the pumpkins that just give me a little more. So joy. they're good, right? They bring you more joy. They, they bring I me more joy. I like pumpkins. I like the pumpkins a lot more than I like candy corn. Me let too. me tell you. Mm. But I do like, like I candy actually corn. really will eat the pumpkins and I really won't eat mm -hmm. candy corn. Mm. Even though they're like literally the same flavor. Yeah, it's the same thing. There's something about the pumpkin. Pumpkins are good. All right, we ready? Yeah. I'm going to start off with some easy ones. The, some softballs. Oh, God. Um, they should all be easy. Please. All right. Question number one, is The Nightmare Before Christmas a Halloween <gasps> or Christmas movie? Well, that was A, B, or C. No. <laughs> no. Oh, wait, so is Nightmare Before Christmas a Halloween, Halloween or Christmas? Or Christmas. Okay. This one's I'm up gonna, for debate, by the way. This is definitely up for debate. Like, we could literally both you guys, get it right if you, or wrong. But this is going to go based off of what I think. Okay. Oh, you, uh, do you think you're the fucking say and oh, I'll be all? I am. See, that's just like men. Yeah. <laughs> to think their opinion is the only opinion Coming that matters. Coming from a man himself. Oh, oh, <laughs> as a gay Latino. <laughs> Christmas. Christmas. Guys, I was saying it was a Halloween movie. It's, really? It's called Nightmare Before Christmas, Christmas, not Halloween. Yeah, but it's Halloween characters and they spend most of their time where? In Halloween Town. Yeah. Halloween but Town. he becomes Santa. That is the most Christmassy thing you could possibly be. It's a it's a Halloween movie. You're both wrong. Tyler. Oh my gosh. Well, uh, we both I'm got sorry. the point. It would equal out anyway. That's true. <laughs> yeah, you guys said the same thing. All right, question number two. The three witches from Disney's Hocus Pocus <gasps> are named. Name them all. I will. I want full names. I'm just kidding. I it's just watched name. it twice. Like I've you watched did on the it plane. twice Where already. Not, if you don't know this, Laura. Babe, I don't even know one of them. Are you joking? Yes, you, Laura, you know them. It just needs to activate in your brain. You need to get into the Halloween <laughs> spirit. <laughs> Who sings book? Who has red hair? Bette Miltner. Yeah, Bette but Mettler. what's her name? Mm -hmm. But what's her name in the movie? One of them has the same name as her actual name. Don't you fucking Sarah. start. <laughs> Sarah. Don't you fucking start. Okay, you know what? That's all. That's as much as you get. <laughs> that's as much as you get. Damn. Yeah. But I don't know the other two. Is it Mildred? No. I don't know. All right. Winifred, Winifred, Sarah, and Mary. Mary. Yes, yes, that's the point. Once Mary. you like, once you hear it, you're like, oh fuck! Damn, like, I should have got it. It was that. there. It was there. Laura, you've seen that? I would say a hundred times. At I least. can't believe you didn't know that. Like, Laura. that's one of your. You should have got that one. You guys, it's nine oh five. Is it? It's my bedtime. It is. All right, we'll we'll blaze through these then. Question number three: In the Nightmare Before Christmas, what was Oogie Boogie made of? He was the boogeyman. <gasps> oh my goodness. He had the a burlap sack. Yep. And what was in it? Okay. <gasps> Wait. I know. I know. I know. I know. No, 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 no. Reveal. Wait, I think. Like cucurachas. Bugs. I put bugs. 
What'd you put, Laura? La cucurachas. Is that what you actually wrote, or did you put cockroaches? cockroaches? It was bugs. I guess that's. I feel a part like of it. Laura I'll, gets I'll it give though. Her that. I'm gonna give it to Laura too because it's bugs. <laughs> yeah, it spiders. Because there's multiple insects. kinds of bugs. Yeah. You're welcome. All and right. it's because it's 9 p.m. and I feel sorry. And you're already down by one. <laughs> and you're down by one. And Question when, when I when I need some grace later, I'm you'll gonna give have it to, to me give it up. Yes, you will. <laughs> Question number four. In Mean Girls, Lindsay Lohan's character <gasps> wears what type of costume to the Halloween party? Um, it's very specific. Is it the specific so you know. kind? Mm-hmm. Wait, I, wait, wait. Okay, hold on. I put Bride of Frankenstein. Bride. <gasps> well, I'm going to give that one to Laura. I mean, it's Bride of Frankenstein. You just put Bride. It's a she's is a bride. Is this the part where you need grace? Bride already? of yep. Frankenstein is Wait, way different than a bride. First of all, she's a bride, a spooky bride. Like she's bloody and gory and she has those teeth. But what she is was the, the bride of Frankenstein? That's what she was? Yeah. yeah. I'll let Laura determine if she wants to No, that wait. Point I don't think not. that it was Bride of Frankenstein, though. It was yeah, like, it is. it's like, oh, I'm an ex bride or a, a something, something. But she wore the black. Oh, wig. do you think that I don't get my trivia answers from good sources, Manny? <laughs> if your source is Wikipedia, <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> But I'm gonna go and take I'll that point on that one point. for the grace. I'm gonna it's give up you the to Laura. Point. I'm gonna give him she's his grace it. point. She's giving me the grace I point. Just but got she my was a bride. Point, and he's gonna get his. She grace was point. a bride. All right. Question number five. What's the name of the young witch in Halloween Town? Main character. <sighs> this whole one. <laughs> Manny As knows. I was literally saying, like my favorite Halloween movies are Halloween Town. <laughs> <laughs> Marnie. Yeah. Marnie. Marnie Piper. Marnie. Marnie. Yes. Now, if you were yes, like, what's yes. the sister and brother's name? I couldn't do that one. Well, Manny, imagine you didn't get that one right. And you like did And I literally did a collab with her where I literally <laughs> glammed her on my channel. All right. Did Laura get that one? I can't see. She didn't. She put nothing. Are holding things I put nothing. Up. It's all white. I put nothing. Because so don't forget to add the extra point there. I just. Me. That fourth point. Dang. Manny really is festive. All right, question number six. Which of the following events in the Harry Potter world <gasps> takes place on Halloween? Was it the Yule Ball, the Quidditch World Cup, or the Goblet of Fire selection? <gasps> Which one takes place Can on Halloween? Can you name Halloween? them again? Yule Ball, Quidditch World Cup, or Goblet of Fire selection? <gasps> dun, dun, dun. I wrote mine down just in case. I'm not quite sure, but I'm going to write it anyway. Um... And the reveal is happening in three, three. I'm going to put C for Goblet of Fire. I put Yule. It was the Goblet of Fire. Yes. Laura got it right. Ding, 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 ding. Yule and was she's the making Christmas. a comeback. Motherfucker, Yule I'm was Christmas, wasn't not. it? What's the score? <laughs> Four to three. So you okay. are making yeah, a comeback, come Laura. Back. No, I'd have to get two right to beat you. All right. Which famous actor is the Michael oh. Myers mask dun, 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 created dun, 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 from? Dun, 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 dun. Excuse me? The actor himself? No. Which famous actor is the Michael Myers mask created from? So Michael Myers, he wears a mask. I remember this. The white mask. Yeah. yeah. The white like, mask that he where wears. Where did that come from? That what came movie? from there's, a person. An, there's an actor whose face that that mask, like they went to the Halloween <laughs> store and bought this famous actor's mask and then made it into Michael Myers. Like cut the eyes out. And okay. Like, but I don't know. Who I don't know. Either. I'm, just putting, I'm just putting John Hamm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting Tom uh, Cruise. There we go. <laughs> John Hammond, Tom Cruise. What do you think? Incorrect. It was William Shatner. Oh, that's right. William <sighs> See, Shatner. See, the thing is, since I don't watch the spooky, ooky, kookies, I, I don't do. know as much about I've already watched got Halloween. That one, Laura. Laura, we watched a documentary. I and know. That was <gasps> we watched a, like, so Tyler was getting like a, a documentary. Yeah, but I had was, a feeling she wasn't going to remember. Gonna How would it? I know William Shatner? I know, honestly. Why? It looks like William Shatner. All right, number eight. In Coco, what is the name of Miguel's dog? Uh, um, okay, you know what? I'm going to go a little deep with it. I'm going to go a little deep with it, y'all. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the half point on this one. Let me tell you that. Juno. He's an alabrije. <laughs> I, need that. I need that button where I can just hit it. His name was Dante. 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 But is he is he not an alabrije? I don't know what an alabrije is. An alabrije is basically like a a guide to get you into the next world. No, it's like a it's like a creature guide. But They're usually really name? colorful and bright. That's what he is. That's not his name. Hmm. 
His so name? Half? What's his name? Dante. His name is Dante. So should I do a half point? No. You should not. We're actually going to deduct a point for you suggesting that. <laughs> <laughs> so we only, are, are we on our last one? Um, we're on question nine. Okay. Oh, don't worry. All right. Yeah. Which horror movie icon has <gasps> the highest on-screen body count? What does that mean? How many people they He's killed? He's killed. Mm-hmm. On-screen body count. I'm between two. I have no fucking idea. I'm just writing. I'm just writing. Jason. Jason. <gasps> you guys both got it right. Yes. Fuck yeah. I was between Chucky and Jason. I was between Michael and Jason. Do you what, remember? What's the number? We're not doing that. Do you remember that on Write Jason? down the number. Whenever you would hear, ch, 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 ch. that means he was coming. Well, it's kind of cool when you do it into the microphone. He's like, ch, ch. it kind of sounds All like right, we're doing we're moving sound on. Okay. All right, next one. Okay. Number 10. <laughs> it's illegal to dress like a nun or a priest <gasps> for Halloween in which U.S. state? Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 I have no fucking idea. But you know, sometimes this state does try it. Virginia. Texas. Alabama. You're fucking what? kidding. <laughs> You're fucking kidding. You're lying, Tyler. According to section 135A 14-4, impersonating the clergy is a misdemeanor with a fine up to $500 or up to a year in jail. Not so bad. I doubt they'd enforce it during <laughs> a year Halloween. In jail. They would never it's enforce that. Legal. No way. What the actual hell? All right, Manny, what's my punishment? Why don't we decide that earlier? You know I'm not good at punishments. I just like to win. Do you want to dance on Invisible Paul? <gasps> I'll do that or a tweet. Well, you've already done the tweet. I say dance on the Invisible Paul. I say you All know right. what? No, no. I say you mm-hmm. do an Instagram post. No. A story. <laughs> a story. <laughs> oh, shoot. A picture. Ah! You post an in-feed photo <laughs> of me only, not even you in it. All right. <laughs> so what you're going to do is the day this comes out, you're going to post a story. I'll do it now. No. No. Um, and it, it can't be me like this. It needs to be a cute photo of me. Okay. And it needs to be a, a declaration of love. Okay. Just like the tweet was, but in a story. Okay. All right, I got you. I feel like that's the only fair thing. I'm going to get this picture ready. It needs to be cute, Laura. That's part of the punishment. I need to look good in it. All right. You're gonna <laughs> That's part of the punishment is I need to look cute. It can't be a funny one. Okay. Fine. Let me see. Let me finish. Let me see it. what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> you will like um you will like the princess off Rapunzel or the king the prince off Rapunzel. The prince Her boyfriend. Oh <laughs> my God. Uh, Laura, I look terrible. I'm not done with it yet. I look fucking terrible in that, Laura. <laughs> I got you. I'm. Um, I look too. I look too large. All in right. There. Well, in two weeks, are you gonna help me remember this? Sure am. If I don't post it, guys, y'all better come. You guys, for me. I need you guys to compliment and come for Laura because sometimes we forget punishments. Don't forget to rate, like, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next episode. We Ooh, love Kevin. you guys so much. I hope you guys had fun. With, I had fun with the Halloween trivia though. Yeah, that me was actually too. really really fun. I we really enjoyed knew it. Some. We knew some shit. We love you guys. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.